Hello, and this is the portfolio review. Uh, it's Tarane. I'm a concept artist, an art director. Uh, I've worked at animations and games for more than 10 years, and I'm glad to be here reviewing Sam's portfolio. Um, okay, for the stars, I usually start uh, to go through all the, like the entire portfolio to just see if um, how many projects are there and if it's like too much or you can make it more condensed so overall if you look uh, seems like there are three project and one is like a mini project and there's another one yeah okay I mean it seems like it's a good amount of like project to show what you can do but I will have comments on like what kind of project to put in your portfolio what is important when you have a couple of projects in your portfolio and um, yeah let's jump into it so I'm probably gonna zoom in and out uh, to just uh, share uh, the, 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 the things that I like and the things that we can just uh, see if there are options to improve and uh, let's go so for the starter I love your uh, the starting page like the intro because it kind of shows uh, like your personality this is really well painted and has like a, uh, a great style the colors are amazing and you wrote it like it seems like you wrote it yourself I really love that about this page I would still add like some sort of information even very small because if somebody just only if something happened and we only see this page or even one of your portfolio pages it'll be nice if there is like at least a website or like a mini QR code or whatever you can put there so we don't lose your work uh, when they're not all together so but it's a great start I love this uh, very expressive and bold so for the sec for yeah for the second page we see there is a project the alchemist um i would uh so if this is gonna be like a, i'm not sure if the logo of the animation or uh what it, it what were you considering um i think it you can a little bit work more on the typography like if it's like a being it's gonna be like a logo of your feature you know and maybe just look around, uh, like uh, just compare like this logo to other projects and see what you can learn about how to create just a logo for your pitch animation. Or uh, I love the I love the mood and I love the colors, but I still feel like now everything is so sketchy. And I think you can spend a little bit more time to have like a bolder intro for your project. And there is a, a little explanation. Uh, based on the book same name yeah so you have a little bit of I love that it's not too much so people can read it and uh, there's not uh, many texts that everybody has to go through to understand what's happening and uh, let's jump into the sketches uh, I love your expressive lines um, you, you clearly are good with drawings and lines and character design and yeah it's amazing uh, your work is uh, extraordinary yeah really good lines um, so here are I think you're trying to show some exploration before jumping into the character if I'm right and I like that you have all sort of different drawings it kind of shows that how you can be like so uh, dynamic with your pose or static even um, in general this page is really good intro but I would even expand it a bit more on how to, you got to this face maybe I mean not not too much maybe just one extra page because these are all the final designs sketches and uh, th this is what it seems like right this is this so um, well, I would like to see like a couple of more variations of uh the silhouettes that you explore the faces that you explore i mean not too too many but just just a little bit enough that is a bit different from what we're gonna see on this page because these are like uh kind of like similar and maybe this guy look he has two different poses and expressions and now 
uh, we can see how added it adds up to this character. For the next page, uh, the characters are absolutely lovely and extraordinary. I love the expressions. I love how you rendered them. It's like a unique style. I like it. We see drawings and painting and brushwork and still we can see some shapes and some sort of 3D lighting and shadows and I really like that. Uh, what I would do if these are like the only character sheet that you have, what I would do is to have them like what I see here. This is nice. Like she is, this is how she's a standing by default, I think. And this guy, this is his default. So it seems like they're all just standing and I would add a little bit more character maybe to this too, because they're like all very like, uh, you know, there is no move, there is no line, like a dynamic line in posing. So they're all like one is that here we have like a curve that is like, uh, yeah, uh, this is like a little bit, there's more movement in the pose. So if she's static because of her character and how she is, it seems like a, like she's like this lady that just proper lady, right? But for these two, I would uh, change a little bit of the pose to um, a little bit more like relaxed and right, uh, have some flow in the standing and and uh, even in this guy, so uh, so they they differ, you know. We want them to be different, and we want to show the way that they're standing. Uh, they, it has to show different personalities and movement, even if subtle. It can add a lot to your character sheet. And these details are rov lovely. These are the props you designed. I love that you cared about the textures, even if it's like. Uh, sketchy we can still see that these are like embroidered it's like uh, amazing I'm I like it I like this I mean we know we all know this kind of material maybe we also used to have some of these but I like this uh, th th what you did here so here supposedly is a character I'm not sure if it's from the same concept or like some uh, probably it's the same movie right because it has a crow and uh, yeah so this is a uh, yeah these are people um this is amazing it looks great i love that you can create a dramatic scene uh, the colors are the storytelling is extraordinary it's amazing we have like a focal point and the rest is just adding to this focal point and the silhouettes are amazing um what i kind of feel like i'm missing is that um so probably we will have some light here if it's if this is on we will have some you know foggy rays of light coming from here and also i feel like i'm missing this is a really i feel like this is an important part of the story there's something is happening here but it all just yeah it's like they're all like bunched up in this corner so if this is really important, I would still bring it a little bit more into the composition. So if you go like one third or you go like a golden, uh, do you draw those just golden composition guideline um, or just even one third, you can see that this is like, mm, so we have the, this, the, uh, the encounterment of the probably these are uh, not, yeah, these are antagonists with our protagonist, our hero. So in the composition, they're all in the same uh, line of like a value line, right? So at least I would just uh, place them somewhere that, so this is one third, this is one third, a little bit further from the border. So the board is not cutting them and maybe they're not just fading too much in the dark and we can see a little bit more of what's going on here and this character maybe. So this is now our composition wise, the line that we're gonna look at and we have a light here. So maybe this character comes a little bit here. I'm just trying to make sure that composition wise, we don't have like a, a line that everything is happening in that line. And uh, also our characters are not placing the right, uh, yeah, the right, right spot in the composition that where the eyes goes first but in general it's amazing great technique great colors great thinking great storytelling 
um, here we see a lot uh, more of your sketches yeah it's uh, really looking cool I love your drawings I love your like messy line it adds a lot of character to your sketches and you have some exploration here I think this is like is this another no these are just some thumbnails but thumbnails I see um yeah and also this this is absolutely lovely I love this this is like uh, I remember I used to work on a project that we had to figure out this technique that how this happens and it wasn't it wasn't easy so this is really a great job and I love what you did uh, the murder yeah everybody knows that the crow is um, the messenger from the other side yeah okay and so here um, um, you have the magic so we have the more this this in this world we have uh, people with different magics and these are the magics and I, although I think uh, I like that you had a lot of messy sketchy lines in your concepts and uh, what I would do for these uh, um, magics I would still consider a little bit of shape design so if you go um, if you want to design a smoke or a design like a f effect for this animation it's good if there are some rules to follow and they're not just random uh, line like what I see here is like these are like it seems like it's just just so so random right to me it that uh, it looks like there's not much shape design happening around even if you want to like like what you did here you have amazing shape design and in there you have messy lines so it's not actually we don't lose the actual shapes but here it's just a lot of lines and i think i would personally add more shape design yeah and i think you can find a lot of references about that but um but in general i love the concept i love the, your thinking i i think now in here we have this color very um, like standing out and the rest like these two are kind of similar and this one has a bit of more saturation so if she's like water I, if it's magic I will make it more like uh, like saturated like kind of like this universe I know they might not be the same material but they're still magic so I would defer I would have like variations that are in the same family uh, now it seems like these two are similar in colors from like if I look at from here and this one is the only one standing out for me in colors. Now here we have another concept of uh, another guy. Yep, we have the same kind of magic happening. So we have some explanation about this story. Um, I personally usually I'm not a big fan of adding text on the concept so it is better if you have like like here it's different because you're trying to explore and these are concepts and I'm fine with reading some uh, explanation next to a concept but this is not a poster this is like a concept art and in concept art we care about composition we care about where to look first and this will break everything you did because you added like a white text here in the corner where the eyes like uh, could just be just locked here and, and I think I wouldn't do that I would I would just if you want to explain something just have like one page to explain everything it's the word of magic uh, blah 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 and then then I want to see the rest of the project or if you have concept like this I think it's nice to have like something this tiny next to it but not more but on a concept I wouldn't do it it's just uh I think uh I, I just want to look at what you painted without even knowing the story and just guess it myself right that make it more interesting so I love the colors I love what you did here there's a lot of details I mean uh, something here I see is a lot of the same color detail uh, I think it will probably make it more interesting if we have a little bit of different colors here too so although that these are mirror they have golden uh, frames maybe something here is a bit more blue or green I don't know it's just 
just they're all kind of a little bit monotone although I don't think this place is like that because I see some different colors here right like you you did that here some cold and some warm so but in general it's amazing I love what you did I love the contrast you made and um, I would just still play uh, just consider the rules of third when because I can see you're just trying to do that and then uh, so here it's good because your hero is closer to the top line of uh, the, the one third of the top part and this one the the villain is closer to the down part so we have like this uh, it gives this character power although it's small but it still gives it the power and uh, or maybe it's the otherwise this is the villain and this is the the other character our hero but in general i think um, this is a is a good uh, practice that you did although uh, i think you're um, if we have like the character this character more close to one third and this one more close to this one third uh, maybe it will balance the composition a little bit more but i love this work it's great and here yeah extraordinary i just love what you did here a lot of details it's not lazy work it's just you thought so much about everything and this is just absolutely fantastic i love this you have a great sense of design and a storytelling your lines are amazing i mean look at this this is so cool this is awesome i love this i also love like what you did here it seems like uh you have a lot of like dark and bright uh, values in even in your sketches and this makes it pops out really good and uh, uh, this is amazing I love this this is awesome your designs are awesome um, so I think we're now in another project escape car um, and we're gonna see what you did here this is escape car and this is a shot I'm just zooming in for the video. I already looked at everything, so it's not my first time looking at this stuff. Mm, yeah, I can see this. It's running. Some cars are. Um, yeah, um, it's really cool. I would say this is a really cool uh, concept, and this is also a really cool car. And if that's it about this project, like a mini project. If you have more material of how, like all this other stuff, even one extra page, like how did you get to this this one? Or what thumbnails did you do to get here? So this is like a little bit not, it's not giving us more than what you already gave us, right? So you already gave us a lot of design elements here and uh, your capability of concepting and designing and, um, I think you can show us a little bit more about exciting projects so uh, but it looks pretty cool I think it's awesome and it's a little bit some it's just I know it might be your technique I also have this like um, I love rough brush works uh, I would still consider just to finish it a little bit more right because I don't understand what's going on here and just a little bit too rough for the portfolio I would say unless unless this is the technique of the animation and we are gonna see it in other places too that it matches with the story but in general I would say this is from from he like if you look overall it's nice and but I would still finish it a little bit more there's another project uh, our lord in the attic another story of this lord it's a cool character amazing drawing some design like shape decorative shape design with piano and this is like an amazing scene i love this how romantic this scene is and this is a good addition that you added that it's a 3d work and uh, that yeah, now i'm gonna zoom in and you explored some camera angles and lighting which is awesome yeah um so i love this one about this that you add some extra technique that you're sharing that you can do more than just concepting and painting you can also do 3d if i'm right if this is 3d 
it is 3D, is it? Seems like it, yeah. Uh, and um, I would say about this work, although I love it, I absolutely love this project and I love your painting. I think we already saw that in the first project you shared that you can do this, right? So um, this project is very similar to the first project. I think to where if you put this and this and just just pack them all kind of next to each other, I wouldn't think that they might be a totally separate project because it seems like they have the same sort of concept thing and the same sort of character design and uh, things are the same. The the design is the same. The everything here, like the frames, are the same. The technique is the same. So um, if uh, that's your portfolio and this is the information and it's nice um, I think I would if you I looked at your Instagram just to see what kind of work you share online and I would love to see some of the the personal work you do so not everything in portfolio has to be a big project right but uh, if you have like I saw that you have different paintings of like nature that is completely different technique and is completely different color scheme from the the project that you shared here because we have here is like very um just romantic and dark but in there I remember I saw something sunny and green so I would also add some of those to the portfolio because um because if people see that you can do that too, that's a whole, that's like a full package. But without that, it seems like you're only, you're mostly interested in this kind of painting. And uh, I think you can do more than that. So I would put it still in the portfolio. And I think your portfolio is amazing and I wish you luck. Uh, you have great taste in art and storytelling and drawing. And if this is the work after graduation, you're gonna, do a lot of good stuff. So congratulations. Well, thank you for your time.